We we're about to pack up the RV and hit the road to Georgia, but before we do, we're gonna take you through and show you what it takes to pack down Cece to get her road ready because there have been a lot of changes since we completed our RV makeover. And I know a lot of you are wondering what we do with everything, especially those three chandeliers. So that's what this video is about today. So stay tuned. divide and conquer this and I'm going to start by taking you back and showing you how we pack down the bedroom. So there are really only two things that I do to pack down the bedroom and that's put away our little photo frames on the side of the bed and of course secure these chandeliers. So how do we secure these dangly chandeliers? It's actually a concern that I had when Jane first suggested we put these into the RV bedroom but we found a simple little solution and it works great. Here's what we've done. We've put a little hook into the back of this cabinet in the back corner and have a couple of these little mini bungee cords that we use to secure it to that. So let me show you how to do that. This is really just a cut off of a piece of pipe insulation that Mark came up with. It's quite brilliant. And I put that there to protect the wood and the paint and use these little bungee cords Hook these little bungee cords are in the back corner and then make them up here the chandelier stays just like that you can see how secure that is and that has been working out fantastically these when i'm not being filmed take about 10 seconds each to secure Simple as that. So the toilet room is really easy. Just need to shut the window, close the ceiling lid, and put the poopery into the overhead cabinet. The rest of this stays in place. We just put the poopery away so we don't risk having it fall into the toilet if we're in motion and have the lid open. Also in this bathroom area, there are three pocket doors. One here. here and a third pocket door up here separating the kitchen from the bathroom we lock these pocket doors so they don't bang while we're driving so of course I make sure all the cabinet doors are shut throughout the RV you'll see we've got quite a few things here on the countertop and we actually don't put those away at all they just stay in place depending on your RV you may want to put them away we used to in our previous RV put them in the sink but here we have a pretty smooth ride so we just leave them out one of the challenges of putting a residential refrigerator in an RV is they're not designed to have the doors lock in place like normal RV refrigerators. The solutions we've found for this refrigerator is we have this little lock for the refreezer door. So it comes like in just one click and that's locked in place. We just found this lock online so we'll put a link to Amazon down below. And our creative solution for the top area, we could put one of those locks on here as well, but I liked this idea. We just used commercial or industrial strength Velcro and used a simple shim. And we have Velcro on top of the doors. So when it's in, when we're in a location for a while, we leave it off to the side and then we're ready for the road. We just put it between the two doors. Holds it really well. We could have used another one of these locks like on the freezer, but then it would have shown on the outside of the refrigerator and I didn't like the look of that. I liked the look of having it completely hidden on the top of the door with this simple Velcro solution. And close the ceiling vent here in the kitchen. So a couple of little tips to keep things organized in the fridge so things aren't moving around too much while you're in transit. So use these plastic storage bins, whoops, <laughs> which keep all these little things together, like, you know, mustards and sauces and things like that, just keeps it much more organized. This is designed for soda cans, but we don't really drink cans of soda so much. But that just keeps everything nicely together. I keep my heavy items like bottles of wine, etc., bottles of vodka, down on the bottom shelf so they're not going to run the risk of being on top and potentially falling out if we have a bit of a bumpy ride. And I like to keep something that is not glass in between the bottles to stop them from clanging while we're driving. So just a 
simple water bottle there. You might remember these from one of our previous mods and upgrades videos. Uh, these Rubbermaid containers lock into place, which makes it really great for not moving around while you're traveling. They stay all together, so I love those too. And then, even I can reach this. And it makes it easy to access the fridge while we're driving if I need to get a snack. So we keep the countertop pretty clear on travel day, but we do leave a few things in place like our paper towel holder, our utensil folder here, and this is really heavy, this uh, soap dispenser, but on bumpy days this has fallen into the sink before, so as a matter of precaution usually I just sit this in the sink, but the rest I just leave in place. But I do have like a round rubbish shelf liner underneath this to stop it from sliding on the counter, and that keeps it in place pretty good. This, this has a rubbery kind of base and it's also pretty heavy, so this has never budged. I probably don't need to, but I usually empty the kettle of water into the sink, so just in case it comes off, I don't end up with water everywhere. So you would not have seen this before because we put this in after our reveal video, but this is our spice rack. Uh, this does not stay in place. We learned that the hard way. These fly out while we're driving. So here's my simple solution. So this is just bubble wrap, two pieces stuck together with packing tape, and then I stuck some Velcro on either side of it. Lift this onto the bubble wrap, wrap this around. And that secures all my spices. And that doesn't go anywhere. I think when I get my sewing machine, I'm going to make a more permanent solution to this that actually wraps the sides as well, but this has been working really well so far. So one of my big concerns, and I know a lot of yours as well based on the comments, has been how do we secure this chandelier on travel days? This has actually took a little bit of experimenting, but this ended up being a really easy solution that works. I simply take the pillows that we keep here in the dining area, pile them here, Put an extra one on top for a good measure. Remember this handy little hook that keeps it positioned above the table. So I simply unhook this. I sit it down on the cushions and that just stays while we're driving. Super easy. Get everything out of the way of the slide because this will be coming in. It's pretty easy with one slide. All right, next up is our office area. This chair, just slide a little bit over here. That chair slides a lot easier on this floor than it did on the carpet. And in this desk space, the chair is on wheels and these drawers slide open really easy. So we have to secure these for sure. The chair, I just reduce it a little bit so it slides underneath the desk. And then we use a couple things from other places in the coach to secure these drawers. This is the lap desk from the front office space. And this is a little cocktail table. We put those so it prevents the drawers from opening. And then I have a strap that goes behind the desk, connects to this lap desk, and then just swings around behind here through the chair and onto a hook screwed into this cabinet. I also release the pressure from the shock of the chair so that it holds itself underneath the desk. This is actually a very secure solution driving down the road. Everything else that's out, these speakers for the stereo, the monitor, the computer, the keyboard, the book, this can all stay in place while we travel. Now part of the reason we can keep so many things out is this is a diesel coach on air suspension. It rides very smoothly. We did put more things away in our gas coach. If you have a towable RV, especially a bumper pull RV, a trailer that hooks to the back of a car and not a fifth wheel, you're especially going to need to put much more away than we do. But so far, after several months and thousands of miles, this has worked really well for us. So packing down with a single slide and being able to leave much more things out makes things pretty easy. You might see this dehumidifier here. We just leave that in place on travel days. And my front office space, I just have my notebooks and my laptop all drop into a laptop bag. The keyboard and the mouse I put in the cupboard above. 
This front desktop is just made out of three offcuts from the flooring. So all I need to do is just fold these three pieces up and then I walk back and drop these in the drawer under the couch. All done. And then I just put that laptop case here on the couch. There's these last couple items here, this basket and this globe that sit on the front dash when we're in place. We just set them on the couch when we're in motion. And then time to pull these curtains back. And we just use small bungee cord around the bottom of them. I think we're going to come up with a more. We might come up with a more permanent or fabric solution, but at least hold those in place. Yeah, we need to come up with a better solution for that, but that works for now. Works for now. So that's it. That's our pack down process in our motorhome CC, our diesel class A motorhome. Again, being a diesel coach, because it has a smoother ride, we are able to leave more things out than we would typically. In well, and it's coaches. also beneficial because having a passenger in the coach, we can also, if something we missed, we can just walk right. back and fix that while in motion. And that has happened a couple <laughs> of times, but you know, each time we're learning as we go, and if there's something that's moving, we come up with a new strategy, but it's pretty dialed in now. And obviously it took longer to do this in the video while we've been explaining it to you and showing it to you but in real time how long would you say i'd say five to ten minutes yeah i think probably five if we're both doing it. it's pretty quick that includes bringing in the slide putting everything away pretty quick it's definitely faster than the previous pack down in our last RV that had four slides and we had to put more things away but that was never an issue it wasn't too bad and the previous coach almost always had to use leveling blocks and stuff outside right. of the coach still like most other RVs I still have to disconnect from power disconnect from water and sewer yeah. and put away tire covers and stuff like Barbecues. that but yeah. uh, and then and depending on how long we're in a location would also depend on how many other things we have out like so like camping chairs and you know side tables and rug and lights that kind of a thing but this uh, we didn't put any of that out on this trip this video has just been focused on what we did on the inside and I think we're probably ready to fire up the engine pull in the slide and hit the road all right let's do it Lights off. And then we cross our fingers and turn the key. <laughs> go. Now, again, being a diesel coach, we need to let the air pressure rise up to where it's safe to travel. This motorhome does not use leveling jacks. It's just air ride, so I don't have to pull up any jacks. Our slide operation uses a key to activate it. It's got a fun little guy who talks Caution. to you. Before moving room, check area around <laughs> slide out room for adequate travel clearance. It's good. He actually reminds you of all the things you need to be mindful of. So, and then once he gets done, or you don't have to wait till he's done. Then you can bring in the slide room. Barely clears that fireplace. Yeah, as Jane would say, an inch is as good as a mile. I don't think we even have an inch. It's just like half an inch. And here we are, all packed down and ready for travel. So, time to hit the road. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned a few things, uh, got some great tips. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Happy to answer them. See you We're next heading to time. Georgia. Bye. So as you can see here, nothing is moving on this desk. Occasionally, if we hit a bump or go around a corner, pretty tight. Sometimes something might move, but not very often. This is not moving at all. Chandelier, it is safe. Kitchen, nothing moving. 
So you can see, it's all pretty safe and sound, nothing moving here.